can you believe it's the 30th anniversary I of was, the 1993 uh, year old. Montreal Canadiens? I was five. Was it, no, I was you, fine. you were five. Fine. Date me. Fine. <laughs> You're just dating me, man. Oh, my God. 30, 30 Chris years was one, ago. was one years old, right? Chris was yes. Less than eight one. months. Eight months. Okay. Chris eight was, months. Was eight months. And, you know, you... you when we, when we talk about the 93 Canadians, like, I think we, you know, you, you watch the, the, the highlights and you listen to the stories. And of course the major one is that the, the 10 straight overtime wins. That's been mm-hmm. like, that, that's still, I think it still holds uh, the record to this day, but I also believe, I truly believe like the Canadians created their own luck in a sense. If you really go back and but that's what had, the teams do. Th- absolutely. But also, had the New York Islanders not defeated the Pittsburgh Penguins yeah. at yeah. that time, do you think could it be? I know shoulda, woulda, coulda. Like never know, man. It, 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 the history has been written thirty years now. But like, it's 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 something to think about too. And Chris, I had this talk with our uncle Joe, and he's like, he's like, man, like the way everything was aligned. For the Canadians to win that cup, it was the, the stars were aligned. Like you beat your provincial rivals, the Quebec Nordiques. You know, like you're down two zero, I believe. Four, and maybe then, one and six. And you come back, win four straight. And so just just for, for, for you, Joey and, and Zook, like our, our our uncle Joel's been working for the, the military, but like deep in Quebec in City. Quebec City. Like yeah, yeah. within the, the, Shannon, area. the Shannon area, so it's like twenty minutes north. It's on the military base. Yeah, so mm-hmm. so he he was deep within Quebec Nordique's enemy territory at that time. Mm, okay, and and he still remembers to this day. Like he's like that the papers were trashing. Yeah. The they Canadian, keep they dined like, is what he says. Keep, they called them. They keep they dined. Okay, fucking turkeys, I guess. And and apparently, That's like, why we Nord- need back, Nord- we, the Nord- we need the Nordiques guys. That yeah. rivalry is what I'm, we need. I'm leaning towards there slowly, slowly too. Anyhow. But apparently, saying the fans there too were yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah. It's a good and then, goes, off, and then, and then apparently, like yeah, once, yeah. once they started winning and the Canadians eliminating that, apparently it was a fucking. Yeah. Like the fans, the hash fans that were there just laughed at all the Nordiques fans. Like it was a, an amazing shit show to be a part of. If that, if that actually exists, but then we don't have that anymore. No. The Bad. Nordiques? Yeah. No, no just that, that, that <laughs> sort of rivalry. Well, no, if they bring it back, I think it'll be that. I think that's why most of wants a piece of it. Oh, for sure, he's gonna capitalize I, on that shit. Yeah, but he sent he sent his ex half partner to go buy the senators. Go, go buy the senators. Go, Mental. go under under a billion dollars. Go have fun in the swamp. He <laughs> was actually interviewing Kent Hughes and Gorton. He was one of the. Oh group. yeah, he oh, was no like, way. Well, he was one of the pieces. Yeah. Anyways, so and back. Lauer. Cool, cool story, bro. Back to the yeah, Canadians. Yes. I think we all forget, though. I'm going to give you guys a stat over here. When the Canadians made the playoffs that year, they had 102 points in 84 games. It was an 84-game season. Okay. Now, let me ask you guys this. That year, who do you think was their best player? Without looking at stats or without... without Office, or was it... Yeah. Uh, or yeah. was... Yeah, it was Vesa Or was Dafus. it Mulder? It was both. So you had Vesa Dafus, 97, was 97 points. Dafus had 97 points in 84 games. I don't remember Kurt... last time we had that. <laughs> I know, we, dude, not in our lifetime, at least. Mental. Or maybe maybe in the late 90s. No, anyways, Kirk Mahler second with 94 points in 80 games. What a team. Yes, <laughs> dude. You had Brian Bellows. Listen to this. Brian Bellows, 88 points in 82 games, 40 goals. <laughs> and then you had Stefan Lebeau. At He's our Caulfield. Four. Dude, Stefan Lebeau had 80 points in 71 games. So you have four guys that are not only over 80 points, but they're over 30 goals. Yeah, that's insane. Four guys. Yeah. Like, is that ever going to happen again for this team? Or for any NHL team, for that matter. Yeah, I think it's going to happen for sure. The I mean, besides is... besides McDavid and 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 uh, Drysital, like holy shit, like yeah. dude, like that that. Well, there's certainly more parity now, so it is harder. Yeah, 
I have yeah. a feeling these new kids, this class there that we've been seeing the last five years are gonna have, they're gonna there's gonna be a lot of goals, like especially this last think, this new draft. There's gonna be a lot I of good agree players. With, I agree with Zook because I think you might have a line, maybe not four, but I think you could have three guys that are gonna put up huge amounts of points because it's either gonna be goals or assists. Assists and like a really dominant line. 